Hello everyone, it's a new day with the Lord. Today is Tuesday, um, July 21, 2020. Sisters and brothers, as Catholics we believe that Mother Mary is a virgin. And that is why we call her the Blessed Virgin Mary. Yes, he, uh, she, she, she bore a child in her womb. But uh, it was not uh, because of human agency or human causality. Mary conceived a child by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we can read it in the Gospel. Okay? Now, um, some people do not believe in that. They say that um, Mary had other sons and daughters that Jesus had brothers our gospel for today taken from Matthew chapter 12 verses 40 to 50 seems to tell us seems that Jesus indeed had brothers we have it here someone told him your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you but he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. And he continued, For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Sisters and brothers, Jesus is telling them that um, much more important than blood relationship is faith and affiliation with God. Sisters and brothers, if Jesus had brothers, where were they? when Mary and Joseph went to Jerusalem and the time, the time when Jesus was lost and later on was found in the temple. And after that, uh, Jesus went with Mary and Joseph to Nazareth and grew in wisdom and found favor with God. If Jesus had brothers, where were they? During the wedding in Cana, if Jesus had brothers, where were they? At the crucifixion, Jesus, our Lord, entrusted his mother to John. If he had brothers, where were they? Sisters and brothers, in this uh, gospel, our uh, Bible scholars uh, tell us that uh, the mention of brothers here are the cousins and relatives of Jesus. And in fact, he uh, calls their attention that uh, brotherhood and sisterhood is by faith more than blood that is why as baptized Christians we become sons and daughters of God and we become brothers and sisters to Jesus and we should treat one another as brothers and sisters although we have some uh, levels of relationship like parents and children, teacher, pupils, or students, and others. But basically, as baptized Christians, we are brothers and sisters. And I hope and pray that we really live as brothers and sisters. We live up to the gospel. This is a call to brotherhood and sisterhood. 
We should love one another as Christ loved us more than ever. And by loving one another, we truly become sons and daughters of God. We truly become Christians. God bless you all.